Good morning and welcome to week four of our virtual music class. Go ahead and take out this worksheet that you should have received from your homeroom teacher and let's start it together. All right, friends, how notes are named in the treble clef. Make sure that you put your name on your paper because if your name's not on your paper, I will not be able to give you a grade for this assignment. The staff. Music is written on a five line staff. Notes can be placed on lines or in spaces. The lines and spaces are numbered from the bottom to the top. At the beginning of a staff, a clef is given. The treble clef circles the note G and is used for treble or higher notes. So this is our treble clef, and if you look carefully, it circles the note G on the staff, and our G is our second line note right there. Let's review from last week how we can figure out which notes are lines or spaces. So over here, we have our line notes and our space notes. Remember, they always start from the bottom, always, 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 when using our acronyms to remember. For line notes, we use the phrase, every good boy does fine. Go ahead and write that on the bottom of your, or this space right here on your paper, and let's circle the first letter in or the first letter in every one of those words and if you look carefully every good boy does fine e g b d f we can use this acronym to find where our notes are on our line so let's go ahead and i'm only erasing because when i scroll it is really funny but you should leave that on your paper to help you out don't want to draw all over there. That's not helpful. All right, let's look at number one. So we know our line notes are E, G, B, D, F. And our first note here is on our top line. Let's go through the acronym in order and see which line that note lies on. So every good boy does fine. It's on our top line, and the word there is fine, which would be F. Let's look at our next note, every it's on our very first line, which makes that an E. Every good boy does. That would be a D since it lands on line number four, which is a D. Every good, it's on line number two. Let's do one more together. Every good boy, line number three, which is B. All right. Another way you can look at this is we know this is our G clef, which circles G, and we know that the notes move alphabetically. So if we started here, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, we could also use the alphabet going up. Just remember, G is our highest letter, and after that, it resets back to A. Let's take a moment to look at our space notes over here. What's nice about our space notes is they actually spell a word, F-A-C-E, face. So easy to remember. So let's go ahead on our paper and let's go down to number four where our space notes start. Same thing, F-A-C-E, top space, that's an E. F, whoop, bottom space, F-A-C-E, that's another E. F A, second space, that's an A. F A C. And all I'm doing is I'm spelling face out, and I'm whatever space that note lies on, that is the letter. I'm just spelling face. However, let's look at this A right here. If you like the method of using our G clef, we know that that's G and it restarts alphabetically at A, G. That would be an A because it is right above our G, whichever method helps you best. Now your assignment for this week is to complete all of this worksheet, all the numbers. It is your only assignment, so please take your time and make sure that you fill it out correctly. All right, friends, so just to review, your only assignment for this week, obviously to watch this video, but also to complete this worksheet. We did start talking about notes last week, and if I'm being honest with you, I think this worksheet's easier than the other one. Just don't forget, every good boy does fine for your line notes and F-A-C-E for your space notes. If you remember those two things, 
you'll be set. And my favorite part, at the top of the paper, it says everything, okay? As always, you can always email me with questions, but if not, I'll see you next week.